So are you making this an ASMR stream? Is that what's happening? No, I'm getting in my protective gear. You having sex later? Watch out for the hood you've made. That's uh, wow. potentially a problem. You, hold on. Everything about you is protected except for the part that's actually vulnerable. But to... I need that to talk. So he's going to the Waterworld stunt show later. Is that what he's saying? Because he can't. It's closed. Yeah, man. What are all those Waterworld stunt actors going to do? What about the strippers? Uh, that's the thing. The think what? about the stripping strippers. industry. What oh, are they going to the do? Yeah. Who do you think's getting a lap dance in sure March 2020? Is. Ain't nobody. nobody, dude. I like your little, uh, your little hands. Someone. All right. I'm ready to play. Well, I'm risking my life right now here to play this game with y'all. I want You're you guys to know this that. video by having uh, plastic shaking into the microphone. The whole video. <laughs> <laughs> it's necessary for my life, Adam. You look like a ninja turtle. Like yeah. a, like a trash ninja turtle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> like the ninja turtle that washes up on shore, and then someone posts a picture of it with sad music to tell us that we need to stop throwing our stuff in. The I'm ocean. the clean ninja turtle. That would be, you know, they all have their own personality. Yeah. I'm the clean one. Yeah, but you all live in a sewer with a giant rat. Order pizza! Let's all touch it! Oh, yeah. Oh, Jeez! <laughs> Michelangelo, did you wash your hands? No! Excellent, you may proceed. <laughs> that is the exact costume my mom made me when I was seven years old. And I said, I want Ninja Turtles costume. said, that costs money. Here's a garbage hey, bag. Oh, I hate it when you talk about your childhood, Adam. Do you think I could make a coffee table book? It's just people send me pictures of the homemade Ninja Turtles costumes that their parents made for them in the 90s. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That, you could make a whole coffee table off of Google images of that exact sentence you just said right book, there. Not an actual yeah, coffee table. I don't want to build a table. This is, I'm not like Kramer. Why not, though? Oh. I don't I, know what I we're mean, talking can about. you build a coffee table of... A children's childhood. Yeah. Uh, what does your childhood coffee table look like then? I feel like mine's just a series of asthma puffers. Yummy, yummy. I feel like mine would be a transformer I had that turned into three things, and I can't remember what it was. Mm. It sounds great. It was a bird, a tank, and a man. <laughs> Fond memories. <laughs> what are we playing today, Lana? Well, this I, is either. There's this weird thing that you, uh, about GTA where the maps have names when you find them um, on Rockstar Social Club, but yeah. then they say no translation in game because nah. they're in a different language. So yes. Yes. Typically this, Russian. I think, is Yakuza. Um, I love that game. What does that oh. mean? What is it? Well, what is, it, is, oh. it is a death match. Okay. Oh. Nice okay. shots, good shots, good shots! Oh! Alana, did you sanitize that controller before you handed it to Adam? I did not. What the fuck yeah. are we doing here, guys? This is a global pandemic! Mm -hmm. It actually is, and we hope everyone at home stays safe, and uh, we're not trying to make light of an unfortunate situation. Uh, no. I don't know. But seriously, wash your hands. If anyone touches their face during this during this recording... I got it. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I yeah. touch my face I, what do you so mean? People much. Can wear, you can wear gloves and then touch your face with the germ-infested gloves. <laughs> right. But it won't get on my hands mm -hmm. that I. Yeah, and it won't it's get not going to go skin. through your hands. It will it's be on your hands. through your eyeballs. It's, it's airborne. No touch. I'm not because. touching anybody for like the year. Yeah, same. So let's say, as I say, yeah. so just proceeding as usual. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> not even insulted by it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at least I still got my little helmet on, though. Look at that. I know. You oh, look cool. cool. Yeah, see? Yeah. Man, you're prepared right. for the pandemic, dude. This should be the new poster for uh, Top Gun Maverick, so we don't have to see Tom Cruise's agent That's face. That's delayed a year because of this fucking Are thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the best excuse for Netflix and the streaming services ever to be like, Fuck the theaters, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Just send everything to, to Netflix now. Send Mulan to Netflix now! Mine. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> you could, there should be a button where you pull the eject on them. Uh-huh. And they just... <laughs> Later, Tron. Oh, come on. There's the beauty oh, of this system. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Nice! <laughs> wow. It's good to laugh again. Bold of them to assume. <laughs> this one's for you, Top Gun Maverick. And uh, Mulan. And uh, Dune, please don't delay Dune. And the Boston Furious that everyone's oh, very excited F9. about. I'm indifferent. I don't get it. Why what? is everyone so hyped about Fast and Furious? I feel like it wasn't it's always that way. It's become a cultural phenomenon. Right, but yeah. only it's recently, right? It's a holiday right? now. It's like the last like three years, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, they realized it, they didn't need what? to take themselves seriously. They, they needed to lean into, you know, and they got the, the absurd. Like, let's let's hang a tank off of a helicopter mm -hmm. and drive the, it into Mount Rushmore. The, and then the franchise. Uh, no. Oh, okay. uh, we all know Lawrence. He used yeah. to work here. Familiar with I Lawrence. Lawrence. I do. Yeah, still alive. Um, he is a big fan of the Fast and Furious franchise, and he um, wanted to have a Fast and Furious marathon at his house one day. I was very excited yeah. because I've only seen one and three. You haven't kept up? 
I, I've only seen Tokyo Tokyo Drift like oh. 25 times or something. Like that. <laughs> okay. Right? It's not even a movie. It's, this now, is a, it's a theme park ride. I know. Yeah. Now that's what it is. Yes. But it used to try and be a movie for yes. a really long time. But they must but have. They figured out that they're theme park rides and now they're way better theme park rides than well, they, they are movies. They must have made enough awesome. money to get that many sequels. Yes. yes. They made yes. a whole ton of money. Maybe Either way, uh, sometimes. Back to the Damn Lawrence it. story. Yes. Oh, yes. He felt the same way and he wanted to share his love of Fast and Furious with all of us. Mm -hmm. And by the time I arrived, two Fast, Too Furious was ending. Mm -hmm. Three began. And everyone was asleep. Which is Tokyo so Drift. then I watched three. Yeah, Tokyo Drift. Excellent. That's the one I've seen 25 yeah. times already. Uh -huh. So then I that. sat through all of that. <laughs> Once we got to the next one, everyone decided they'd rather go to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the pool for a little bit, came back, and then Lauren said, well, this one isn't very good. <laughs> and then by that point, it was like, 10 o'clock and it was time to go. So ultimately I went to a Fast and Furious marathon where I only watched Tokyo Drift again. Very good. So that's when I kind of just gave up on Fast and Furious. I too once uh, had a Star Wars marathon and I had the bright idea, oh, we're going to watch all the Star Wars movies and everyone fell asleep during The Phantom Menace and we didn't finish it. Well, Did no, you, that would happen regardless of if it was yeah. uh, at episode one. We started at episode one like idiots and, and, and then we were like, you know what, I don't think we can do this. And then we didn't. Not with that. It's not you physical can't. pop, physical possible. I'm actually willing to give Lawrence credit for the Fast and Furious uh, hype train. I think he may have single-handedly created this this cause. <laughs> now, another uh, Lawrence story related to the Phantom Menace, when we went to Matt Peake's wedding in Alaska, everyone was staying at this one like Airbnb, mm -hmm. and Lawrence brought his Chromecast, and we all watched episode one and laughed at it, because we had a great time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I wish yeah. we had done that. And we're like, great wedding, Peak. Let's watch Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's supposed to be On deflowering someone. Himself. I think wow. it was Bones. <laughs> It was a weird way. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we didn't address what your uh, your uh, uh, childhood tables would be made of. Oh, good, um, great. We're I, still really like I didn't really know. understand this question. All right. You're saying we, we're we get basing some kind it? of object that is very significant from your childhood, <laughs> and we make a table out of it. So it's we're not recreating the childhood the no. coffee table in our no. living rooms as it's children. A, it's a no. coffee table that represents your youth. Yes. This what is, is it? such a bizarre hypothetical question. Welcome. Okay. Um, I guess it would involve. Fuck. I mean, that, Mississippi State Bulldogs right. football it, games. Even if you use a wipe on it, it takes like hours. I don't even oh, know what I'm talking about anymore. Where is the bring of things? <laughs> Mine would be made out Camping. of Power Rangers toys. Oh, oh yeah, yeah thank you. you. That's for sure. Why did I why did that like, controller down? You wiped it down, right? James is immediately like Power Rangers toys, and you're like, I don't know, camping? Yeah. You're like, <laughs> uh, disappointment. Oh, what uh, time in my life are we dreams? talking about? I mean, just like, like what toy Ninja did you Turtles. play with as a Yeah, kid they'd be made out of Ninja Turtles. Right. Is that what you just said? Yeah, we got yeah. it. I think I was the only person on the planet who bought the... Um, female Ninja Turtle action figure. What? Venus? And I was super into it, but yeah. looking back on it now, she's terrifying. I mean, most of them are... She has women in general. Boobs. She has boobs, and her her uh, her eye bandana or whatever mm -hmm. is tied to look like a ponytail. But theoretically, any yeah. of them could do that. Yes. Right. That's, I had a turtle run funny. away from home. That's what my coffee table book is going to be. A I'll turtle run away <laughs> from home. Did Explain that. That is what he said. Yeah. <laughs> you did say it like you were in an English as a second language class. <laughs> 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 yeah, broke out in the middle of the night, and it broke it was, out. I mean, out of what? You must have really free. been torturing that we, turtle for no, no, to no. want to run. His name was King. I mean, and then I remember one day we're like, "Where's King?" And we're like, "Gates open." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you think he he sleuthed and opened the the gate? He was I, crawling well, out of the, the like, combination Goodbye, lock was, was undone too. Yeah. 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 How smart was this yeah. turtle? Uh, I mean, it was a touch lock, <laughs> so it was tied oh to biometric. So he, yeah, he. I guess he must have got my fingerprints Holy from. Holy shit. Uh, for my coffee Classic that morning. Classic king. Wow, yeah. you like acid washed your, your fingertips or mm. and like mm. uh, put it in soap and mm. recreated it with wax or something? It's my favorite episode of Forensic Files. One thing that uh, confuses me a lot with that show is the amount of crimes they solve because someone decided to bite someone else. Oh yeah, have it's a long just, time. <laughs> all, just all these grown men out here just biting people. Yeah. And that's how they get done. Wait, biting their, 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 murder, their murder victim? Yeah. yeah. It's like they mm. get a victim, they bite them. So hot tip for anyone out there looking to be on Forensic Files in the future. Wear those plastic vampire teeth. And then they'll go, oh. we got ourselves a Dracula in our hands, and mm. they'll throw them off the scent. Wow. Or leave some, like, teeth at this crime scene. Yeah, much easier to get. <laughs> yeah. Just real human teeth. Mm -hmm. Get kids Just leave that teeth. 
Yeah, find a tooth fairy situation, get the the, the teeth, and then frame a little baby for murder. <laughs> How about this? Just don't just don't bite your victim. Just don't put your teeth on him. Uh, maybe don't have a victim. <laughs> yeah, right. no, 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 no. Okay, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Really he's going to kill a lot people. Of you a reasonable say. solution, <laughs> and you're going a little too uh, yeah, tyrannical. Yeah. Okay, here. yes, yeah. JW. You know, uh, forensics files, growing up, there was an activity at my school called forensics, but it had nothing to do with with murdering and the hair fibers and stuff, it had, it's like plays. It's like you do, what? how do I explain this? You do like, like, um, monologues and duo scenes and- Right, that's and called drama. It's like drama, but it was called forensics, so I spent a lot of my life figuring out, or thinking that forensics was- Why a, did they call uh, it was that? Was plays and stuff and not, not a, whatever you call it. Why did they call and then it later that? In no life, I've never that heard that before. So did you go to school in one of those those single buildings down the middle of a cornfield where they just taught all ages? Uh, did you often refer to your teacher as a marm? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a cornfield, but it was like a, a kindergarten through 12th grade in one place. It's all in one, three buildings. I was do 12, that's pretty and, and it was right across the street from like the biggest Baptist church in uh -huh. Tennessee. And a Walmart next to that, right? A Kmart close by, I yes. Kmart, baby. Who do I, I kill? Not the blue ones. That's I went to a uh, Catholic primary school. Fuck you. Um, but my dad's Jeez. side of the family was Mormon. How many wives um, did your dad have? Just one, uh, an unexciting Weird. amount. Uh, was probably good for my childhood, though. But my mom was like, I don't want to get them baptized. I want the girls to be old enough to be allowed to decide if they want to get baptized. Mm. So we're just not going to baptize them. They're going to figure it out themselves. Okay. My mom being an atheist. Teachers would like call me dirty and stuff because I was unbaptized at a, oh, nice. a Catholic That's primary cool. school. Very... Like quite frequently. And I would be like, I just want to eat the bread. And they'd be like, not allowed. You have to sit. And they had this like little corner of the church we would go to once a week oh, where all of fuck. the non-baptized kids would sit. So fuck. I basically grew up fuck. desperately wanting to be baptized because I felt like I had a plague. Uh huh. It's a pretty well, fucked up experience. I can't imagine that ha took any sort of psychological toll on you as a child. <laughs> Seems being fine. called filthy and excluded. They were by really a mean. Or or organization that is yeah. supposed to accept all, but yeah. Well, not the dirty ones. Well, not the dirty. Ones. Come on, sure. we must shun them. So you had to pretend to be Mormon around my dad's family. Yes. What did that involve? Smiling with nothing behind the eyes. Yeah, <laughs> dead inside. Jump, jumping on a trampoline. It was like wearing specific clothing. I mm -hmm. couldn't say the word crap, which I guess like as a kid, I was like, no, that's crap all the time. Uh -huh. I wasn't allowed to say bad words either. Now that's why I say so many now. Fuck shit, fuck damn, god damn crap. You, you should be in a metal band. <laughs> or not. Or a Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> how do I get in, how do I get in? Did you ever find you yourself just, reading no! a book, Alana, that like oh, you're man. like every time just someone saw once. you that you were reading a book mm. except that it no. was always the same book and no, no one ever <laughs> wondered why Serving you no, USA. I don't know oh, what you're referencing. Yeah. What is this oh, reference? Yeah, I don't know. Baby. I just always feel fun. like any, my image of, of Mormons are smiling with nothing behind the eyes reading the and same reading book. a book, <laughs> except it's always halfway through the same book, and I'm like, you're faking it. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> good job. You did it. Hey, good job, Ryan. Thanks. You got the objective. Mm -hmm. I did. That never happens. What was it? Kill a player with a what? With a, a melee. melee attack. Dude, hell yeah. All right. Because it doesn't I, I tell you something. the objective until the end, so we almost never get the objective. That's kind of a win. Winner! Mm, still loser. <laughs> <laughs>